Trapping plays a very important role in modern-day wildlife management. Professional wildlife biologists monitor fur bearer populations to maintain a healthy and sustainable harvest of this important, renewable natural resource. Trapping provides recreation and income for licensed trappers across this country. The Fur Shed Series, brought to you by Who's Your Trapper Outdoors. Who's Your Trapper Supply. Leatherwood Creek Trapping Sense. HTS Productions. Who's Your Trapper Deer Sense and Leatherwood Wildlife Art. All right, here's kind of a quick fur shed series. We uh, did the muskrat marsh trapping, and you know, obviously that was that was kind of a new experience for us, something we really hadn't done in the past. One thing I will say is we were using primarily the four foot fiberglass um, fence posts for um, our locations, our sets, not location, but for each location, but for our sets. And um, clearly, we had a few six footers. The six footers are far superior. You can see them much better. Um, so what I'm doing, I basically we're switching everything over to four footers, and this is something you know we probably won't do every year, but I'd be prepared for them in the future. Um, but anyways, we so we went to the got the six foot um, fiberglass rods, and um, then I'm I'm putting uh, tape on the top of each one so that we can easily see them. Let's see if I need to just just. Um, so they'll really stand out. So between the height of the of the pole and uh, the fiberglass pole or rod, fence post, whatever you want to call it, um, and then the, the um, orange flagging on the top should be in pretty good shape. The um, fiberglass rods we use the, um, you can use the Hags um, bait clip along with the Hags bracket um, on there with the trap attached to it. Or you can actually just use it as a stake, uh, like if you're setting a muskrat hut or whatever, and then you know with the swivel on the end like this, and then um, you know just run it through there and, and use it as a stake. But these can easily be identified. You're not going to miss them. Uh, they're going to stand out really well. Um, so that's that's kind of what what I'm doing. Like I said, so I'm I'm adjust the camera here. So I'm. Um, I've got tape cut right here. What I did is I just cut each piece of tape at six inches in length and um, that just that marks off real nice um, to just put that little flag on the on the fence post. A bunch of them ready here so um, I'll have a hundred and fifty of them ready to go once they're um, once I'm completed. So like I said I've cut the tapes off uh, in advance I've got six inch marks here on this um, uh, fiber board and then I'm um, getting the tape and just put them on there. It's kind of mindless work, but it's something that's done. And once it's done, it's done. I don't have to go revisit that for hopefully a couple, three seasons. You know, once they get some weather, I don't know how long those, uh, that tape will show, you know, hold up. I think it's going to hold up pretty well. It's a gorilla, it's a gorilla tape. And um, I don't know, we'll see, but uh, uh, clearly, um, the sets will be well marked and easy to find. So, anyways, like I said, just kind of a quick first shed series, just kind of bring you up to date what I'm uh, uh, readjusting. You know, and I've said before, you go on a trip, you go do something, you could go run a new line, have a new experience, uh, or even something that you've done for years and years. Uh, there's usually room to improve, to get better, better methods, better equipment, better efficiency, more organization um, to make your job easier. And it's, it's, um, uh, a labor of love for sure. Uh, none of us would, would do this if we didn't enjoy what we did, but I think it's a lot more enjoyable if you have adequate equipment, um, good equipment, adequate, good setup, um, you know, just to make things better, more efficient, and, and it's more enjoyable. So anyways, that's kind of what's going on here this afternoon.